All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such. And today we're going to be talking about why aerosols and smoke detectors don't mix. If you watched one of my latest videos called That Moment When, um, it talks about how I couldn't get my panel to reset after I had a smoke detector trip because of an aerosol can. And that gave me an idea, an idea I tossed around because I wasn't sure if I wanted to actually make this a video because while this information is very useful and informative and entertaining inf information, it can also be, um, what's the word, heinous. Um, this information can be used in a bad way. So I'm putting this right here um, in every one of my videos. I have a disclaimer that says, do not tamper with safety equipment. I am not responsible for your actions because seriously, I'm not. Just because I do something here doesn't mean you get to do it. No way. I have regulations in place. I have proper permissions. I'm not doing this in some sort of felony crime. I'm doing this legally. But we're still going to learn and you're just not... Don't try this at home. Because this can get you in trouble. Let's actually start, okay? I'm not responsible for your stuff. Don't be screwing me over. I do good things for you guys. Up here, we have a Simplex smoke heat detector. I'm not gonna get into the model because it's not important. And frankly, it slipped off the top of my head. This uh, is pretty much going to be the same for any smoke detector. The way, I'm trying to think of how I want to word this nicely. You guys see me all the time, where is it? Here it is. All the time using this stuff, solo. It's solo testing smoke. And you're probably thinking, oh, why is it so special? Honestly, it's not. It's got some chemical properties to it, but the main thing is, is it's designed to mimic smoke particles that are enough to get into a chamber, disrupt the chamber photo sensor, and trip an alarm. That can be done with a lot of things, not just special testing smoke. But today, I'm using a can of popular hairspray. Ta da! Because you know what? It works the same way. And there have been so many instances where, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna call you out, but in boys' locker rooms where they do axe bombing, which I've never understood why that's a thing, but I guess it is. And they fill the room with aerosol axe. And you know what that's done before? That's evacuated an entire building because someone sprayed axe in a room. And look at this isn't anything special. This is hairspray. This is basic, one run of the mill, fresh scent hairspray. And it's just as bad. Now, yes, I know I'm spraying it right at the detector. But you know what? Just a room full of it can do it. Now, it's not as easy as, say, Solo. But it still does it. It still gets the point across. Because you know what? If you stand there hairspraying your hair and you got your back to a detector, you know what you're doing? You're doing this. That's all you're doing right at it, especially in a nice enclosed room. Yeah, you're going to trip a smoke detector. It's trying. It's double. It's double blinking. It's picking it up. It's actually being good this time. I got to trip real easy last time. I don't remember what I did differently. You'll do one of two things. You, you'll either send an excessively dirty trouble to the panel or you'll evacuate the building. Either way, it's not good. You gotta watch what you're doing. Now, yes, I know what I did. That was perfect scenario. You know, spraying it right at the detector, spraying it all over the panel. 
but it doesn't have to be right at the detector. It can just be this nice, uh, stand up on a chair, nice, thick cloud, you know, I've seen it done with Lysol cans, you know, cans of, you know, air freshener, and now you know, um, hairspray. Trying to blow out the chamber and see if it will actually give me a good reset, unlike last time. Oh, don't you dare give me a wrong type trouble. Good job! Last time I did that, it didn't believe me that that was the right smoke detector. But yes, aerosol cans can trip smoke detectors. It's not just simplex either. You know, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I think I'll do it either way. Let's turn on the demo board, shall we? I'm going to put the tape over this because I'm not wearing hearing protection. So I wasn't expecting to. But look at I3. It's going to do it too. Oops, there goes the cap. It does it too. I've done it on here many times. Because all it needs. Whoa. <laughs> That's not good. Because all it needs to do is get in that chamber. It barely sprayed before the uh, cap fell off. Oh. I've seen, I've seen this happen. It's happened in my own district. Um, some people were down, you know, in the locker room. And they, it was, a, it was back when the school was a middle school. And they decided that they were going to axe bomb the teacher because the, the teacher's office was down there. The uh, gym coach, they decided they were going to fill the room with axe and run away. And, well, what did they do? They evacuated the entire middle school. So, I mean... Yeah, I did that right. So, I mean, kudos to them, but, you know, that's not good. It happens. So, you know, if you're going to be in a room um, spray painting, that's another big thing. My high school has been evacuated not once, not twice, but three times because they were doing some work and they were spray painting the first time was just they were trying to repair some ceiling tiles and part of the wall after a big windstorm came through and pushed something through the roof, thus creating a big hole that let rain in. Um, and they were, you know, repainting the stuff in there. And what they do, they tripped a smoke detector because they're using paint sprayers. Then the second one, oh, uh, second one was right outside my band room. There was a sprinkler head that decided to get a nice slow leak, not enough to trip a flow switch or anything, but enough to create a giant pool of water under the ceiling tile that eventually started flowing all down the walls and stuff. So, you know what they do? They painted this off smoke detector. And the third one was they were installing um, some new cameras and they were painting where they had run conduit in one of the maintenance rooms and guess what they did they set off the smoke detector you'd think after three times they'd learn that there's dust and paint covers for a reason but yeah aerosols and smoke detectors don't mix so next time you're doing something that's having a lot of aerosols in it you know either watch out or Better yet, if my cart was over here with me, I'd show you. Um, dust covers. Smoke detectors, new in box, almost all the time will come with a dust cover. Those are meant to be put up when the building's being painted and stuff, so you don't, you know, blow out the fire system every time you try and paint a wall. So, just a little heads up, and, I don't know, some story time. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day. Thank you.